Hello everyone, I'm Beth Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to make a card and this little gal is made by Rita Bearcat. She's so cute. She's part of the little die cuts that Rita re uh, leases every month. And I don't know why, but I just felt like she needed to be like out of this world and in another galaxy or like the queen of all the universe. So I wanted to create a galaxy background. And to do so, I'm going to be using Ken Oliver's <laughs> galaxy line, which seems appropriate, right? Um, I am working on his craft mat because it really works best for color burst. However, any craft mat will do if you don't have one of these. I also caved and bought his water bottle because the mist that it lays out is perfect for the color burst. In addition to that, I'm going to be creating some stars with Diane Reevely's white linen. I'm choosing this white over other paints because it's a bit more liquidy and so um, I can splatter easier than if I did something like a Dina Wakely paint. All right, so the first thing we need to do is I'm just going to take my lids off uh, and get ready to kind of go with this because I'm going to wet the paper down first. Now, when you're working with Color Burst, you don't have to wet your paper down first. You can totally wait until the end, but I like it because it kind of sticks and I can see the color moving, and especially with this particular line because it, it th th there's dark colors in it, you know, and so in deep space in the night sky. So these colors, I really want to not necessarily control, but see how they're interacting. So I know where else to place the other colors. So it doesn't get overwhelmingly dark. The paper that I'm working on is actually Ken Oliver's, um, watercolor paper that's been stitched on a piece of craft. I found this through Canvas Core Brands. All right, so I'm going to open the card up, and naturally, it's probably going to go out of my white, which is totally fine. It'll be a different look, and I'm just going to mist off, spray my water bottle off, and get the right um, nozzle on it. Make sure I have a right, a right um, stream coming from it, because you can actually have a real intense stream on this, and I'm just going to... Go ahead and lay out some water. And that's really all I need for now. And I'm going to start with my dark color first. And you just kind of spank its little bottom. That's the best way that I can, that I like to call it, is I just tap the little bottom. All right, and that's already starting to move. And then this deep space. And that's kind of about as much of the dark as I want. And now we're going to go ahead, I'm going to put in some Jupiter. And once I re-wet this again, it's going to move even more. And then I'm going to put in some solar flare. And then I'm going to end with terrestrial. Now, we are breaking color family rules when we're doing this, I know. So just keep that in mind. And then I'm going to take and just spray it again. And watch that color move. If you want it to move more, you add more water. All right, isn't that pretty? And then you can pick it up and, and manipulate it. See how pretty that is? So I am going to pick it up a little bit, manipulate it around, move it kind of around. And then I'm going to add in some of my liquid metal and platinum. And I like to do this kind of at the end. Now from here, I do need to let it dry a bit before I add my stars. And what I mean by that is I splatter my white paint because it doesn't quite look like a galaxy yet. I need to definitely get some stars in on this. 
and I actually think that I need to move it a little bit more around and maybe add a little bit more of the darker colors. And look how that just totally starts to move. So I'm just going to sit for a minute and see. And then we're going to spray it. So from here, I'm going to take a heat gun to it a little bit, move it around and dry it. If by chance the intensity of this color gets to be too much for you, you can always lay a paper towel on it when it's wet and it will totally pull up some of that color. He does the Diane Reevely thing where he rolls the paper towel over it and it picks up some of that color. This is dried a little bit with the heat gun and also sitting out. The next thing I do is I want to add some stars and I'm just going to splatter some white paint on this. And again, I'm using the Dilutions white linen. I don't have much left. This probably is going to be my last run with this, but that is what it looks like so far. And you can kind of see how it's galaxy like, but it definitely needs your stars in it. So what I'm going to do, and this paint is already dry, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this and oop that teaches me to open up something on camera before I look before I do it it was dried out and it was the very end of the little jar so what I did was I just took some of this apple barrel white this is by plaid and it's fairly translucent. It's pretty runny, which is what I want. And I'm just going to take and pick it up with my splat brush and just take and splatter it around. And that's all it takes. This needs to dry. And then I'm going to put my little gal on here. And I'm going to do a sentiment of something like out of this, you are out of this world. And then my card is complete. If you want to see more on how to use Color Burst and also this finished card, please head on over to my website. It's just www.betsgolden.com. The link also is available uh, in the description box. I also have provided for you some supplies that I use to help you out if you're interested in trying this. Please feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to share. I would so appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so. Until next time, happy crafting.